general complaint of the state of Gangpur was mostly related to exorbitant land rent. The tribals appealed against this abnormal increase, but no relief was granted. This gave rise to popular discontent. The tribals started a no-rent campaign. The movement was strengthened with the inclusion of the Munda Christians of the Lutheran mission, the Orans, the Hindus, and also had the support of the tribal leaders and pleaders of Ranchi. The administration took coercive measures for the recovery of arrear rents, and in early 1939, the state almost found it impossible to collect land revenue from the peasants. Nirmal Munda emerged as the leader of the rebels, and intensified the agitation. Consequently, the Queen Regent announced certain very minor concessions which were not acceptable to the people. The no rent campaign continued. On the 9th of February 1939, the Maharani convened a meeting at Sargipalli to listen to the grievances of the people and to induce them to make payment. Around four to five thousand people from thirty villages attended and presented a charter of demands. The popular demands included not only restitution of the land rent and forest rights of 1910 settlement, but also abolition of chokidari tax and the monopoly on the heights. Introduction of responsible government was also asked for, in which the people could exercise the right to vote. Total abolition of Bethi, Beti, Rasad and Magan was demanded. But the Queen paid no heed to the demands. The tribals continued their agitation under the leadership of Nirmal Munda. Finding the situation difficult, the state administration requisitioned joint police force to apprehend the leaders. Few of them were arrested. On the 25th of April 1939, two platoons of armed forces along with the assistant political agent and the SDO were sent to the village Amko Simko of Sundargarh district to arrest Nirmal Munda on the grounds of holding seditious meetings and assaulting a village Chokidar. But a crowd of around 500 defined tribal people armed with lathis, axes and other crude weapons resisted the arrest of their leader. Consequently, scuffles broke out and the police resorted to firing. 39 people fell dead and 50 were wounded. Nirmal Munda and many of his associates were arrested. He was sentenced to six years of imprisonment in Sundargarh and Sambalpur. He was released from jail on 15th August 1947. 